Hello and welcome to another one of my videos where today I will be flying the English Electric Cranberry. Uh, this aircraft is a 1950s jet bomber, although the version you are seeing on screen now I believe to be is a recon version, down to the fact that in the cockpit there is a little switch that would open the bomb bay, or does open the bomb bay. And rather than being labelled Bombay Doors, is labelled uh, camera, camera Lens Hider or Flash Hider. Which leads me to believe that it's recon and would take photos. Also, the fact that there isn't a full crew capsule, because on most pictures you will see, or if you play War Thunder and you seen this aircraft you'll know that it has one big cockpit and the pilot would sit same place there and you'd have your uh, navigator and bombardier sat sort of behind you there but in this one you have your pilot where you can see him which is on top in sort of a fighter type cockpit and your navigator would sit in there now I'm going to read the specs from this book of flight I have, which has pretty much every aircraft in it, almost. There aren't any really, really new ones, but pretty much you get most of the aircraft. Uh, English, the version of the English Electric Cranberry I am going to be reading the specs for, so it may not be the same as the one on screen, is the English Electric Cranberry. B2 has two 6,500-pound uh, thrust Rolls-Royce Avon 101 turbojet engines. It would have a crew of three. This one only has a crew of two. And its armament would be a 6,000-pound or 6,000 pounds worth of bombs. This one would, I suspect, carry a camera. Uh, I'm going to close the book up now because it's the same book that I used to hold the joystick on. Now let's enter the cockpit and also close up the nose cone, but first into the cockpit. It's going to take a little while to load in because it is payware and it is very, very detailed. Right, so let's close the nose cone up and close the cockpit. Cockpit is now closed. Right, I'm going first I'm gonna show you that switch that which opens the bomb bay. It is there it is. Uh photo flash doors. I'll have to show you that when the engines are running and I'm in air. Right, let's start up the engines, and I do believe it's by pushing these two buttons in.
Oh, that seems to turn them off.
cranberry. It's my second favourite aircraft of the Korean War. My first favourite aircraft being the Vampire. Actually, in fact, the Cranberry is my second favourite aircraft overall, with the Vampire being my favourite aircraft. Just because of the sheer shape of the Vampire, just put it there on the front. Lots of handling of it is quite nice as well. And actually, to be honest, it was one of the only multi role aircraft that I do believe that multi rolls quite well as both a naval fighter and just general fighter attacker. Kind of the detail I love about this model. It's by the way, link in the description, it's payware. So the yeah, aircraft's about almost 30 pounds. I'm not sure how much that is in Elton. One of the details I love is just the smudge to be built in. Uh, the website to go to is just fly, although I probably should have if I haven't known at me we want. But I should put a link in the description website I got this from, plus the actual thing to the um, download itself. You can either get this as a download or as a box. I downloaded it. Uh, to actually buy this or any of the other downloads, it's a bit weird if you don't already have an account you just buy. You create, a, create an account while paying. It's rather odd. This plane's rather walking to land just because you're off centre. Oh, there's the nice place to land. Trying to slam off the guy's brakes. breaks out to want to pull up. Going for the 
short one on a really high steep angle attack. So try it at home, kids. What you don't see is my frantic rudder to try and get the plane into position. If I make this, and I am some weird flying wizard. over a taxiway. And I'm down. Oh, it's a Parking brake. Try and give us a bit of it. Turn off the engines. Open everything up again. What I did there was incredibly stupid. Because what I did is I came in and landed on a taxiway. The thing I actually tried landing on was a runway, I overshot it and Landed on a taxiway. But yeah. But that's the two buttons, this thing you have to give up and go down. You can, in fact, eject the canopy. See, the canopy's gone now. There's also apparently flares but I can't seem to get an angle where I can actually set them off and see them. There's a shaft. Yeah. Is that dangerous? Or on. Flare dispenser. Let's see. Uh, demystifiers. Air vents, pretty standard stuff. Although I do like this uh, incorporation, which is a touch screen GPS. The engines are off, so there's no power. But if I was to start up the engines, you could set that in and it would have your flight path on it. Meaning that I can actually fly to places unlike the Avro Vulcan, where it doesn't even have like a screen that shows me anything really. So yeah, I might start the engines again. Actually no, I don't fancy that. You know if you want to buy this or not. Or if you just want to see me fly. If you want to see me fly this a bit more I can do flights over Korea if you want. Which reminds me, if any of you actually own Flight Simulator X Steam Edition, and you have planes downloaded either Korean, Russian, so Russian MiGs and stuff from the 1950s and Korean, uh, like Korean War uh, aircraft, or American, British, uh, Chinese, if you have any of uh, aircraft from those countries from the Korean War period, so 19... I think it's 1950 to 1953. If you have any aircraft from that period and would like to take place in a semi-realistic reenactment uh, then contact me either in the comments or through my email which is pretty much lipleum at gmail.com So yeah, I think that's all I need to say. 
Uh, there are different versions that come with this, of this aircraft. I say versions, I mean different camo styles and Bombay door styles. Uh, there's, I think, a type with clear Bombay doors, which is uh, plain silver, and then there's another one that's hemp, and then there's one like this, which is this sort of style of Bombay doors, which aren't clear and hemp. And then there's also this one, there's a black one, I believe. There's all sorts. Uh, so I guess that's all I have to say. And I've forgotten the button to end the thing. This is embarrassing. Uh, I guess.